Halo of Death, 1945. Directed by Wallace Fox, starring Wilton Graff, Brenda Joyce, and Lon Chaney Jr. An attorney seeking to start a new life with his secretary comes home to find his wife murdered. Who was the real killer? And will they be caught before they kill again? Disclaimer, this film does not, in fact, feature a killer pillow. It would have been awesome, but alas. This is my first Lon Chaney Jr. film for the channel. Oddly, he's billed under his father's name on the poster. Being a murder mystery, the cast is lined with memorable characters. Wayne Fletcher, an attorney under investigation for his wife's murder. Donna Kincaid, the secretary having an extramarital affair with Wayne. Julian Julian, a phony medium that is friends with the Kincaid family. Sam Kincaid, the grumpy, wisecracking uncle. Bruce Malone, the dubious neighbor who's been infatuated with Donna since they were kids. What's interesting is this film was made after Universal secured the rights to the Inner Sanctum Mystery radio program, which was popular throughout the 40s and 50s. The film is a lean 66 minutes long, but manages to tie everything up in the end without any loose ends. The film has a body count as well. I won't reveal who gets it, but at least three of the main characters fall victim to the killer throughout the course of the film. Unfortunately, the film tries executing one too many plot twists and ends up bungling the ending, completely derailing the story right before the credits roll. I also always find it funny how murder mysteries are loaded with suspicious people. If they're innocent this time, who's to say they won't be guilty the next? So many shifty characters in one place. Verdict? Thumbs down. I didn't hate it, but this film's ending will murder your enjoyment of this one. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.